Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the CZ, Tech 9, and 5.7. And really what I'm looking at here is why the CZ is so much better than the other options at the moment. It used to be that the CZ, 5.7, and Tech 9 all had some parity and could be used in different situations for different players. However, at this point, I think the CZ is so strong that the only reason not to use it is if for some reason you find you can't be consistent with it. And really, I don't know why that would be. However, if you're not comfortable with it don't force yourself to use it it is a better gun in my opinion quite significantly though so to understand exactly why this is you're first going to have to look at the roles that these guns actually take up so if you look at the tech 9 to begin with the problem with the tech 9 is it's supporting you to play and fight in situations where you don't have an advantage to begin with so if we take a quick look at the accuracy values the tech 9 wants you to be running around taking slow shots on long distance opponents or could be closer distance however there's no reason to have this sort of accuracy if you're looking for close range and if you ever get into a spam battle it is ridiculously inaccurate you can't be fighting in these closer range engagements that you typically would be looking at with a pistol because your inaccuracy is so ridiculous that you can't realistically finish off targets at that range you have to be very close to actually get a dink and then finish your target off the problem with this is it kind of overlaps with the strength of the Deagle, but there's no reason that the Tech 9 is better than the Deagle. Now, of course, the Deagle is more expensive, so it makes sense that the Tech 9 wouldn't be better than it. But if you're already putting down $500 for a gun that you want to be peeking out and going for long range fights with, why not drop the extra $200 for a gun that can actually open up the map? You can get long range headshots and long range kills, which can open up areas for your team to actually take in. You can get that gun off a dead opponent and you can give yourself a pretty solid advantage the problem is with the tech 9 not actually one shotting people at these ranges it's not to begin with a spot where you want to be taking a pistol engagement someone at these long ranges most likely has a pretty solid advantage on you to begin with they probably have a headshot angle or they know where you're coming from and can post up easily which means just strafing out with the tech 9 is not enough of an advantage to actually make it worth your while. You're still going to want to force closer range engagements, and when you get closer range, it would be much better to have a P250 or a CZ than a Tech 9. Now, if you look at the 5.7, the problem with the 5.7 is it actually eats up into the exact same territory that the CZ does. These guns kind of want you to do the exact same thing, and that's really not in your best interest when one of them can go fully automatic if you ever get out of these situations that the gun is meant for so if you look at the 5.7 the accuracy value at a mid-range is pretty accurate you can pretty consistently find a headshot with the 5.7 at a range like this however you can do the exact same thing with the cz of course the inaccuracy is a little bit more it's not really meant for these situations, but the inaccuracy is not enough that you have to worry about missing the headshot very often if you come up behind an opponent. If your opponent's looking away in these situations, you can pretty consistently find that first headshot, get the dink, and try and finish them off in the same way that you would with that 5.7. The problem is when you get any closer than that, the CZ is clearly superior to the 5.7 and you're causing yourself a bit of an issue there. If you get any closer than, for example, this box to this wall over here, the CZ can realistically spray down an opponent in the same way that a 5.7 could. However, the 5.7 doesn't have the same um, damage per second that the CZ does, it's not going to be able to get out the same number of bullets in the same period of time, which makes the CZ clearly superior for these sorts of engagements. So the problem again with the 5.7 it overlaps quite significantly into where the CZ is strong, and the 5.7 is not strong enough in the situations that the CZ is weak. And the other problem is that in the situations that the CZ is weak, again, quite like the Tech 9, these are situations you're trying to avoid. You don't necessarily want to be taking a long range engagement with the 5.7 against a rifle buying team. 
you don't really want to be doing that very often and if you do why not just pick up a deagle where you can actually again find that quick headshot and really open up the map with a straight up kill if you're looking for these closer range engagements why not keep the cz because it has more versatility when you get in closer and you can have a better chance to actually drop a gun and get yourself an advantage that's the thing with the CZ and with the Deagle that a lot of people kind of take for granted. Both of these guns are brilliant at finding a kill and getting yourself a gun to open up the round when you're on an eco. When you look at the Tech 9 and the 5.7, because they're long range specialists or at least a little bit more than close range specialists a lot of the time you're putting yourself in situations or the game wants you to put yourself in situations where you're unlikely to find that entry frag because you're just going to get a quick dink and you're not really going to finish your opponents off consistently so anyways thanks for watching and i hope this helped